Boulder's unique, and I guess it's uh, not really unique uh, for a lot of departments uh, along the front range of Colorado. In fact, uh, quite a few areas of Colorado, and I would imagine most of the western states where we have some of our bigger fires, is the problem of having these fires right in the people's back backyards, basically. Uh, the aesthetics are, are important. If all this burned up, you know, who wants to come up and see a big black patch? So the responsibility is for our department is to come in, get the keep these uh, fires small, keep them out of the uh, areas of the homes, keep them away from the people, keep the people away as best we can. When we got the news that uh, 19 firefighters had perished in Yarnell, Arizona, we uh, we kind of were wondering why aren't they using our technology that we we, we developed for DoD? We wanted to know. Uh, you know, if our technology could be applicable to wildlife firefighting and if it could help save some lives. We've developed a solution in which we integrate um, modern radios, tactical radios, with mo mobile devices, and then this solution helps provide situational awareness uh, in remote areas where there's no, no other communication means other than your uh, tactical radios like the firefighters have. With 21st century technologies, firefighters can develop a common operational picture that is updated in real time to help improve the safety and efficiency of operations. Firefighters can establish broadband radio networks using mobile ad hoc network technology to share data in real time with other team members. They can also interface with federal, state, and local organizations from the field by bridging over to 4G LTE networks to extend internet connectivity to the field. Once a broadband communications network is established, firefighters can share data seamlessly. They can see the work that's already been done through prescribed fires and other fuel treatments. They can quickly assess the affected area and identify linear features that they can tie into, such as roads, streams, and trails. By improving upon the natural breaks that already exist, firefighters reduce the amount of work they need to do and improve their efficiency. One of the biggest impacts of this technology is in the area of firefighter safety. By tracking the precise location of crews and providing visual representations of where the fire is and what the weather is doing, firefighters will have the critical information they need to recognize dangerous situations and avoid fatalities. This is especially true in critical times when weather and fire behavior are changing rapidly. Okay, so uh, another benefit to the, this uh, ability to share data amongst everyone is, is the ability to see what we've already done, such as uh, um, fuels treatments, uh, past fires, prescribed fires, um, looking at where we have our linear features such as uh, roads and streams and trails, even the ability to see where we have, you know, where a, a game trail might be is, a, is the ability to, to improve upon something that may already be there and uh, reduce the amount of workload, thus improving our efficiency in the field. The technology that's being described here was developed for the Department of Defense and is now being repurposed for civilian applications. This mature technology that allows small and large teams alike to share data and collaborate in real time, whether they are operating in remote, rural, or urban areas. It provides the ability to track personnel, collect field data, collaborate in real time, and monitor video feeds from airborne or ground sensors. It makes available data from trusted sources, such as the U.S. Forest Service, Bureau of Land Management, Wildland Urban Interface, Fire Sciences Laboratory, NOAA, NGA, USGS, and local government data. Additionally, it can be integrated with legacy firefighter radios and ground-based weather and infrared sensors. By adopting this technology, firefighters transform the way they manage wildland urban interface areas and how they respond to active fires. They fix the problems that are inherent with legacy radio communications. They save lives by opening up a whole new level of information sharing that gives firefighters a clear understanding of where the fire is and what it is doing, what the weather is doing and how the fire is expected to behave under specific weather terrain and fuel conditions, as well as where the people are and how to keep them at a safe distance from the fire. And with, uh, with the technology that is uh, being described here, that would give us one more tool, and a big tool, to help us do our job. So it's not only information for us, but it's also information, I think, for the public and uh, for other managers within the city.